You know, in 19 years that I worked, most of the questions that I was asked from women is how to shift when they come from work, because when you're at work, let's acknowledge, you're in a masculine energy, 100%. You're in a masculine. And when you come home, people ask me, how can I shift to femininity? And I'm gonna tie it up to your answer. So how can you shift to femininity when you come to work? When you try to be in the present, can you shift to femininity after work? No. <laughs> no, you can't. What are the ideas? How can you really shift to femininity after work? Oh, Beth? Okay, that's one version. What else? <laughs> and let's say you did bubble bath, you ate, you walked. Does that shift you to femininity? No. No? <laughs> so how can you shift to femininity? Let's say you come from work, working, let's say, eight hours a day, you pray and be authentic. Do you think you shifted to femininity? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you cook for him something, does that shift you to femininity? No. For me, it is. It doesn't. So do you have to? Well, you have to get, ladies, that if you work eight hours a day, and if you run your business, mm -hmm. you can't shift to femininity. No. You can't. And that is the dilemma of every woman, that they think they can go to work, work eight hours a day, be driven, be successful, take care of their kids, pay for their mortgage, pay for their car, uh, work and make decisions, all of that stress related, and they think they can come home and shift to femininity. But when they come home, they have to cook, they have to clean, they have to do laundry, they have to organize, that's work. This is a second job. And so women actually work two jobs, two jobs. And therefore it's impossible to shift to femininity. And then I have a question. Why do you think it's important to be in feminine? That's who we are. That's who we're born in. And, and how, how does that help us? And back to the question, we are born women. And do you know our main job as a women, if we're looking now from a spiritual aspect, what do we have to carry within us every day? No. Yes, because when we're in the femininity, we have this love within us. And who feeds from this love? Who do you think should be feeding from this love? Children. And children. This is our main duty. We carry this love we have to preserve for ourselves in order to share it with husband and kids. And if we're not sharing this love with men and kids, they're depleted. What happens? What happens? Because they're hungry. They're not getting this love. And that's what happens right now in the world. The femininity and masculinity out of balance. It's not working because everybody is hungry for the feminine energy. Women shifted to workplace, and so we have all the masculine energy out there. No feminine energy. And for a woman, the key here, if she has a self-esteem, healthy self-esteem, she collects this love from other women and other people and she preserves. Because when we go to war, guess what we're giving? The love. We give that love. We give that calmness. We give that peace. Because when we're women in the feminine, we have five main qualities. The biggest one is love. The second one is peace and calm. We have the car uh, harmony, the balance, and this state of calmness. When we can just show up in the place, everything works. Like, look, we showed up here, everything works. It's a feminine energy. Thank you, Michael, for being here. You enjoy this feminine energy where everything flows, right? You get collected. Yes. yes. And when we go to work, we give it, here, boss, here's colleague, here's more decision maker. But when we're entering the workplace, we are in the masculine, energy cutthroat make a decision do it 
make a decision. Yeah. Because when we women make decisions, which house to buy, which uh, which decision to make at work, we feel exhausted because all of that takes us down. And we give this love, harmony, balance, and everything that belongs to us and our family, we give it to them. And we think that this 20 or 30 or $50 an hour that we're getting, it's gonna fulfill us. But it will never, you can never buy this love and this peace and harmony by money. Do you get that? You give the most valuable thing for 20 bucks. You're selling yourself. Do you see the dilemma here? Yeah. <clears throat> By the way, mm, women cannot get femininity or love from husband and kids, a little bit from kids. Where we get femininity and the source and power is from above. So, so for example, you do the prayer or the meditation or the affirmation, you feel yourself 100%. Then you keep 20% to yourself, and then you give, let's say, 50 to your child, and let's say 30 to your husband, or you start to see how much husband needs, how much child needs. And so <clears throat> when sometimes my masculine girlfriends, you know, I see they're really, really, the people struggling, they take away a lot of source from me. That's a lot of feminine source, and I feel exhausted. And if that happens once, uh, if that's close friend, I'm willing to do that. But if it's not a very close friend, I put a stop. Because this love belongs to who? Yes. And so when girlfriends talk, they got to exchange. But it's got to be like Eileen. I'm sorry if I don't mind sharing. A few weeks ago, she called me and she said, I'm dealing something with my marriage. But the way she shared it, even though it's a struggle, it's a, such a feminine share that I didn't feel depleted. Mm -hmm. And a lot of women, when they are so much in the masculine and they're exhausted and they're working, they're just throwing up. Mm -hmm. And if you feel that afterwards you're like this for three or four or five days, yeah. that means she took everything away from you. Make sense? Yeah. And we have to be responsible in how we share. Maybe we can share 10% here, 10% here, 20% here. But women lately don't even know how to share without taking it all. And they're hungry, walking around, let me just take it, let me just take it. And that's violates, that's violates another human being. Because everybody's hungry, hungry for that femininity and love. But what if the uh, most person is not your friend, but like your husband? And well, you by the way, stop, by the way, beautiful thing about men, oh, you guys are just so amazing, <laughs> so amazing. Men, men. Uh, when they're emotionally healthy, they don't come and throw up their things. If a man comes from work and throw up his emotions, he's in a feminine energy, he is degraded man that he needs to work on himself. But usually men share only 5-10%. Sometimes they don't share at all. And that's how. And that's how they protect us. They go to work, they are providers. They are protectors they go and bring bacon home. They don't come and say, oh, my boss did this, oh, I didn't get bonus that, my colleague did this, my other friend did this. It's a woman thing. And if a man shares that, if that's the case, you say, okay, 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 I'll come back to you. And you don't have the conversation with him.